Good morning and welcome to the Poplar Bridge Morning News. Today is Thursday, May 21st. Let's start out looking at our weather. Today is going to be very similar to yesterday, just like two degrees cooler. So high of 74, partly sunny skies, and the winds are going to be 11 miles an hour. So a nice breeze out there to keep you cool. We have one birthday to celebrate today at Poplar Bridge. Our birthday wishes go out to Mac. Everybody wishes you the most happy birthday. All right, we have a few phonology fact finders for today. Lily and Charlie sent in a submission um, talking about how they had seen a robin building a nest. They used their sense of sight and hearing to observe. So here's what it might look like you see them busy at work. And Cyprus, Audrey, and Olivia spotted some geese in a pond next to their house and sent us a video of the goslings. Thank you for sending that video. If you are out on a hike anywhere near a lake or pond, keep your eyes out for those little baby geese, the goslings. And then Miles and Linus sent us a picture of an albino squirrel that's in their neighborhood and they named it Marshmallow because of course it kind of looks like one. Awesome. Thank you, Miles and Linus. All right. Our what's up all today comes from Aria. Aria got to go to uh, wish a friend happy birthday and because we can't go into someone's house, a lot of people lined up their cars all the way around the neighborhood to wish Eva a happy birthday. And it was even more special because two fire trucks came to start the birthday parade. So birthdays look a little different now, so <laughs> birthday parades are what we're doing. We're going to take a look at a video from the Three Rivers Park District Facebook page today about wood ducks. There are lots of different kinds of ducks that live in Minnesota. So let's pop out here and take a look at this quick video that shows us a little bit about them. This video was put out by the Lowry Nature Center of Three Rivers, so if you want to watch the whole video, you can have a grown-up get you to Facebook and look up Lowry Nature Center and you can learn a little bit more about these ducks. We will happily eat it. Mm. Well, you'll notice when you see wood ducks swimming around is that they are not diving underwater, but they're eating plants at the surface of the water. Loons, as well as some species of ducks, will dive down and catch fish underwater. Mallards and wood ducks don't do this. They're what we call dabbling ducks because they dabble or eat at the surface. So that was kind of a cool fun fact that I learned that wood ducks and mallards, she said, are called dabbling ducks because they dabble away at the surface of the water. They do not dive down like loons or some other species of ducks. So dabbling ducks is a new term that I learned from watching that video um, from Lowry Nature Center. So remember they have a lot of really interesting videos that you can uh, watch. Some of them you can watch and learn in some videos they actually teach you how to do things or build things. All right, it is time for Thankful Thursday where we just take a pause, breathe in, breathe out. And today my question, some of you might think this is a little bit quirky, a little bit weird. Um, but my question is, what is a smell or a taste that you really love? So a smell or a taste that you really love and that you're grateful for. So this could be something like 
Um, I love the smell of freshly mowed grass in the spring and the summer. Oh, it just smells so fresh and good. Or maybe it's the smell of something baking in the oven or someone cooking or grilling at home, one of your favorite foods. Maybe it's the smell of someone's perfume that you love so much, like you just know how your mom smells maybe. Um, so think about a smell or taste that you love, tell somebody about it, and ask them what's a smell or taste that they are thankful for. Chances are you'll learn a lot about somebody by asking them this question. All right, a reminder, the Variety Show is open um, for submissions for about one more week. We're gonna take a look at Ayla in first grade and Jake in fifth grade's submissions today. So let's see, remember, talent comes in a lot of different um, varieties, and so it doesn't have to only be singing or dancing. Ayla, for example, is going to be playing the piano. So let's take a listen. Wow, Ayla is only a first grader. That was super impressive, Ayla, thank you. And then we're gonna look at Jake in fifth grade who is going to do a flip on his trampoline. Whoa, that kind of made me a little seasick there, Jake. Awesome job. That's definitely a talent I don't have. Thanks for sending that in, you two. Awesome job with those sharing those talents. Remember, if you want to add um, a video of yourself sharing a talent that you have, go to the Poplar Bridge webpage and click the Padlet uh, link under your grade level, and then you can add a video. All right, it's time for our joke of the day. Kate sent this one in. You know what that is. It says, I wish I could stay but I must dash. So must dash means I have to go and go quickly. And it's also a mustache. So I wish I could stay, but I must dash. Thank you, Kate. Patsy sent this one. What did one fish say to the other? Just go with the flow. Thank you, Patsy. And Odin has a knock knock joke. Knock knock, who's there? Handsome. Handsome who? Handsome fries to me, please. I'm starving. Thanks, Odin. Um, also, remember, we have just a few more weeks left of the morning news show, so if you want to send something in, you can find our link on the Poplar Ridge webpage. I love to get um, submissions from students and families or emails with photos and videos. Phonology Fact Finder, remember, is to get outside and notice what's going on in nature. What's up wall is something that you've been doing inside or outside for fun. And then of course, joke of the day. So please send in what you've been up to. I would really appreciate it. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.